Hello kids, I'm so excited to be with you today. Today's lesson is going to be an interesting one. We're going to be talking about nutrition and nutrients. Nutrition and nutrients. The first thing we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at what is nutrition. Nutrition is the process of taking food into our body and how the food is used by the body for our survival, for our growth, development and good health. Nutrition is the process that means is the way we take in food into our body and this food that has been taken into our body are the things that helps us to grow, helps us to develop, helps us to survive and have good health. So nutrition is the process of taking this food into our body. The next one we'll be talking about is what is nutrients. The two are alike, but they are different things nutrients are tiny useful substance obtained from the food we eat after digestion nutrients are those tiny useful substance obtained from the food that we eat after digestion the nutrients are what the body uses for growth and strength so there are difference between the nutrition and the nutrient the nutrients are the ones that the body uses after we are finished eating for growth and development and the next thing we are going to be looking at when we are talking about nutrition and nutrients we are talking about food things that have to do with food that we eat there are three main food groups. Groups are different from classes of food. So the first one we are talking about is the main groups of food. We have three main groups. And these main groups of food are energy giving food, body building food, and protective food. These are the three main groups of food that we have. I'll take it again. We have energy giving food. This energy giving food are known as the starchy food. They are from roots and timbers. While we have the body building food and we have the protective and the body regulating food. These are the three groups of food which comprises of all the food that we eat, that we take into our body. So we are now going to be looking at them one after the other. The first one we are going to be talking about is energy giving food. Energy giving food are known as starchy food. They are known as food from roots and timbers. Another name for energy giving food is carbohydrates. It's known as carbohydrates. So when you hear people talking about you take a lot of carbohydrates, you are eating too much carbohydrates, they are talking about energy giving food. And examples of this food that are known as energy giving food are we have maize, we have bread, we have granules, we have butter, we have processed food, we have beverages. And all these energy giving food are to be taken in little quantity. We are not supposed to take a lot of them because they are starchy food. A lot of starchy food are not also too healthy for our body. The next one we'll be talking about is the body building food. Another name for body building food is known as protein. So when you hear somebody talking about protein, the person is also talking about body building food. And these food are mainly proteinous. They are food like meals, 
there are food like milk, soya beans, cashew, chicken, eggs. These are bodybuilding food. Also, the last one on the groups of food is the protective and the body regulating food. These are also known food that enables the body to heal quickly. When you take this food into your body system, when you take a lot of them, it helps your body to heal quickly when you are sick or when you are injured. That is why most times you hear them telling you that it's always good for us to take in a lot of fruits, to always take in a lot of vegetables, oranges, bananas, carrots. These are food that makes up the protective food and it is something that we are expected to always take. After eating each meal, you are supposed to take fruits because when your body system lacks these fruits, it will be difficult for your body system to heal when you have injury or when you are sick. So, fruits, vegetables, orange, mangoes are very good for our body system because this fruit helps to heal our body system when we are sick, when you get injured. Because you have a lot of fruit, because you've been taking a lot of fruit, your body system will get what healed easily. And when you lack this food, there are some diseases that occur when we don't have, we don't take in this group of food into our body system, or we don't take the bodybuilding food, we lack some of them, or we lack some of the energy giving food, or we lack some of the bodybuilding food. There are some diseases that poor intake of food causes for us. Diseases like kwashoko. When you talk about this kwashoko, you see the person where the, the person will have a, a big stomach and a, the, the head of the person is small. The body stature is looking. The person is suffering from malnutrition, lack of good food. You know, when you are not eating well. It shows in our body system. So if we eat well, we'll be able to be free from all these diseases, all these diseases like get all these diseases like maramos. So it is good for us to take in good nutrients. Always make sure that the food that we eat is made up of these classes of food because when these classes of food are always in our food, we will look healthy and will grow well. So the next one we'll be looking at, importance of nutrients in the body. Why do we need all this food? Why do I need to take body beauty food? Why do I need to take energy giving food? Why do I need to take in protective food? One is for body building. Nutrients are needed for what? Body building. Your body will be able to grow from your infant age to an adult you are growing well you are looking healthy why because you are taking in the right food proportion into your body system and when you take in nutrients it helps to repair damaged cells in our body all these organs in our body when you are eating well it will help to repair the ones that are having issues. Then when you eat a lot of nutrients into your body, it gives us energy. It gives energy to the body. gives you strength. That's what we are when we talk about energy. The person has a lot of ability to carry out his or her daily activity. The person is not tired. Somebody that does not eat well. Somebody that does not take all this food nutrient somebody that is lacking these food groups the person will be having issues you always hear the person complaining i don't have strength i'm tired i'm weak but when you are taking all these nutrients into your body it will give you a lot of energy you will have a lot of strength to take a lot of activities also another one that this nutrient does in our body is that it protects the body against diseases when you are eating well you will be free from a lot of sickness but when you don't eat that is when you have a lot of what 
in a little little injury will just swell it up. But when you are healthy, when you eat well, when you have a little cut, it heals faster. So now we're not going to be looking at the classes of food. We have six classes of food. The first one we are going to be looking at is carbohydrate. Remember, as I said earlier, I said carbohydrates are also known as energy giving food. And carbohydrate is the food that supplies our body energy. If you want to have a lot of strength, you want to have a lot of ability, you want to have a lot of power to do things, you have to be taking in a lot of what? Carbohydrate. Because these carbohydrates, they are the food that supplies the body energy. And examples of these carbohydrates are rice, yam, maize, cocoa yam, cassava, gari. These are examples of carbohydrates. And they are food that gives us what energy. Like you taking bread in the morning when you are eating. You take plantain. These are examples of food that gives us energy so when you take in all this food you have a lot of what energy in your body system and the next one we'll be looking at we'll be talking about protein protein these are food that help to build the body they help the body to grow well they will be building all our cells. They repair walnut cells in our body. That is the work of protein. And examples of these proteins are you have chicken, you have fish, you have beans, you have eggs. So when you take in a lot of this food into your body system, it will help to what? To build your body. So the next one we'll be looking at is fats and oil fat and oil these are classes of food that supply more energy to the body than carbohydrates and examples of this fat and oil are you have fish palm oil you have butter you have vegetable oil so these are food that we take into our body that gives us more energy the other one, the fourth one we'll be looking at is vitamins. Yes, I like this one so much, vitamins. Vitamins is another important classes of food. They are needed in the body for protection against diseases. When you take in a lot of fruit, when you take in a lot of watermelon, when you take in a lot of apple, pineapple, it will help your body system to fight diseases. Not just eating rice every time, eating eba, eating beans, no fruit. No, you will take in a lot of fruit into your body system. Sometimes you take carrot, sometimes you take apple, sometimes you take elk. You just be shuffling it and be taking different ones as you eat your meal. Because this fruit helps the body to fight against diseases. So when you are not taking it, that means you will not have any nutrients in your body that will be fighting what diseases. So we'll be looking at the fifth one, which is minerals. These are essential nutrients needed in our body system for the body to function well and be protected against diseases. This one also works similar to vitamin. It helps the body to function well and protect against diseases. And food that we take that gives us minerals. We have egg, we have apple, we have carrot, we have okra, we have green leaves, we have milk, we have meat. We have banana. So these are food that you take into your body system that helps your body parts to function well and protect against diseases. Why the last one is water. This one is very, very important. 
when you eat after eating you don't drink water your food does not digest so water is very important for our body system because it helps us to grow it helps the body to build well and digest our food the major function of water is for digestion of our food it helps our food to get what digested so that is why after eating during eating we are supposed to be taking what water as we are eating and this water that we are talking about you know when you hear about classes of food you hear someone talk about water what will just come to your mind you just feel is only the tap water or the liquid water that we drink that is known as water under classes of food no all these fruit juice that we take they are classified as what water they are under water because they are also what liquid they are what liquid so water itself fruit itself fruit juice just as you can see on the screen there you see them that is why you see most times on the screen and some of us at home also we do it as we are eating or want to take dinner mommy will just bring out the five and life everybody's cup they'll put in some quantity for us as you are eating you be what taking your juice as you are taking that juice also is serving as what water you can also take that juice and you also take your what your natural water because this water is for the digestion of our food so these are the classes of food that we have looked at and i know that with this lesson we've been able to know that these classes of food are what we need in our body system and no one is to be left alone if you can listen when i was explaining the first one is function is different the function of protein is different from the function of carbohydrates each and every one of them have their own function that is why for you to be healthy you have to make sure that when you are eating or when you are preparing your meal you must prepare your meal to be in the all of the classes of food you get a, a eating timetable or a cooking timetable make sure that all the classes of food are present in your food don't allow anyone to be lacking because if anyone is lacking that nutrient or that function will not be there so with this lesson i hope we've been able to know a lot about nutrition and nutrients Goodbye kids, see you in our next class.